Houston, our instruments are showing that we have a incoming message from deep space. Repeat, Houston, we have an incoming message from deep space. Houston, we'll begin playing message now. Houston, we're going to try and translate that up here. Hold for translation. Translation complete. We'll begin playing message now. Hey, it's me, Melissa. What do you do when the aliens invade? Take a shot of MK Ultra and watch Melissa Jade. Put on your tinfoil hat and tune right in. We got that crime spree, flat earth theories, government conspiracies, a complex Mandela effects, unidentified optics, a mind expanding, fake moon landing, what it all fits understanding. It's me, Melissa. It's me, Melissa. Aliens is on the sun, or in Area 51, time travels, unravels, haunted castles, tops are baffled, books, and experimental thoughts that make you transcendental. It's me, Melissa. It's me, Melissa. Crime streets, flat earth theories, government conspiracies, complex Mandela effects, unidentified optics of mind expanding, fake moon landing, what it all fits understanding. It's me, Melissa. It's me, Melissa. Hello, everybody. Hello, my snot rocket. Hey, MK, Nana Banana, Lucia, Destin Nation, Terry Lynn, Karen D, Harlot People Me. We have Leather and Lace, Mia B, Glowbug. Glowbug's got her wax melts yesterday. What, not their, no, not flavors. What scents did you get? I always call them flavors and they're not do not eat them, even though they smell delicious. Hi, Chases on the Keys. Michelle, Kim, Karen D. Lil Red O. Sherry GB. Petunia. Hi, guys. Oop, hold on. We got a member. Let me see. Welcome back, Nana Banana. Thank you so much for becoming a member again and part of the channel. We are very happy to have you here. Hi, 12 Gage, Katrina, my solo in the back. I spent one and a half hours down the rabbit hole of which is Stevenson's Reddit. What a weirdo. I've got to look into that. Hello, Aries, Chloe Moon. Oh, thank you. Yo, I honestly, hi, Turquoise. I really missed my T-shirt. <laughs> I was just, I was just talking about this. Like my brain feels a little bit like mush right now. Hi, Neat Noodle. That's what it is, Michelle. I my 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 brain feels a little bit like mush, and I think it's because I've done three streams regarding like the Idaho um, frauds and hoax, and it's been a while since I've done that, and I'm I'm so accustomed to like our chill group, and every night we just chill and we laugh. Hi, Claus. We chill and we laugh and we just hang out. And so the three streams, and they've been very long streams, um, and it's very bam, 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 you know, it's chaos and it's fighting and it's exposing and it's drop the link. And then it's, so I think my brain feels a little bit like mush right now. And I just really, <laughs> really, I missed you guys. And I just really wanted to do a chill stream and, oh, does it ever hazel eyes hi jennifer m and don't get me wrong i appreciate everybody who came you know to the streams even if they didn't agree whatever but i'm i'm just like oh i need my tisha people 
I need to just chill tonight. And I want to go through some of the calls. I know we have, uh, uh, Allie has a live in an hour and a half. So we will get off in time for that and go Jade right over to her. But I just really missed you guys. And I just wanted to hang out and chill out tonight. Because I don't think my brain can process anything right now. I'm just so tired. Um, uh, Christina. Yeah. Hi, uh, no. Hi, Christina. Ah, uh, Michelle L. I said it backwards. See, I apologize. My brain's very mushy. Um, well, thank you, Hazel Eyes. Um, I missed you guys too. <laughs> I was just like, I need to just chill with my my Tisha group right now. Um, and it's been a couple of days that when since we last did Tisha, and I I remembered I was like, oh, we left off with an Amy call. Like we were about to listen to an Amy call, and so I really wanted to get on and listen to it. Um, hi, Tara Boom. And then uh, tomorrow we have our members. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. Tomorrow we have our members only Monday. And I look forward to that. Um, you guys are my Tisha people, Karen. I was just saying to meet, but I was like, I'm, I need my Tisha group. They're just chill. <laughs> and I need a break. Um, and I miss you guys. So yes. Hi, Artemis Prime. There's meat foot. I was just saying, see? Yes, it's safe. It's safe. And Shout out to Meatfoot because I've never had a root beer float before in my life. <clears throat> and this is something I've spoken about for years, <laughs> like on YouTube. I've never had a root beer float. And the other week, I they only had Dr. Dr. Pepper. And so I tried to make one with Dr. Pepper, but I explained that it was not drinkable because it just immediately all foamed up, like everything turned to foam. And then she told me, you got to flatten the soda out. Like you got to like take the straw and, and shake it around first and then add your dollops of, of ice cream. And so I'm, I'm happy to say she was right. What a difference. Okay. So I am officially drinking my first root beer float, like legit root beer float float. And it's fabulous. It's fabulous. So I'm ready to rumble. Okay. Um, and I didn't, I didn't know that that, cause I was like, ew, flat, flat. And yeah, no, no, she's right. Flat. Like as, or at least like flat her, but it's fabulous. So no, Harley, I don't know. No, no, no. I, I understand you may like the foam. When I say my drink turned to... <laughs> when I say... I was like, okay, here I go. I'm going to have my first... It's not, a, it's not a root beer float, but Dr. Pepper, same shit type of... And when I say my drink turned to... <laughs> it all just fucking bubbled and turned to sea foam. Have you ever like seen like a New York ocean... And in and like certain times of the season, it's like all that foam that lands on the sand. That is what my cup was. Okay. There was no Dr. Pepper. There was no ice cream. It was just fucking a big cup of foam. Okay. So <laughs> yes, there was no float to the foam. It was only foam. <laughs> I was like, this is gross. Okay. And then she said, you have to flatten it. And I did. And it, it's so good now. It's so, so good. Okay. Okay. That sounds gross, Tess. No offense, but I don't know what your foam is compared to my foam. Okay. <laughs> but my foam, <laughs> no, I do not want a crunchy version of it. It was, there's holes in it. It, it gave me like that aragophobia, that, that, that ewy feeling of a bunch of holes disintegrating and it, and it even sizzled, you know, <laughs> not only was my cup full of foam, like if you listened, if you listened closely, <laughs> you heard the, and I was like, fuck this, fuck that. Okay. <laughs> so I abandoned that. But I tried it again with beer of the root and ice cream, and I flattened it out with, with a spoon and straw and <laughs> foam-tastic. 
<laughs> yes, Rice Krispies. I always say Rice Krispies is a cereal that talks shit and gossips to you as you're eating breakfast. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever eaten a bowl of Rice Krispies? And those Krispies are telling you all the secrets. Like, by the way, did you hear that Nancy put it in my house first? And it's like, what'd you say? I mean, what'd you say? Your mom doesn't love you. You were adopted. And it's like, <laughs> I am a little Italian. I'm sorry. I'm really tired. When I said my brain's mush, I wasn't, I wasn't lying. Okay. But yes, Rice Krispies are the gossip cereal. Okay. The secrets that those Krispies know, man, I'm telling you. Um, but okay. We last left off. Let me pull it up. We last left off. Oof. Then, you Hey, did we leave, last leave off there or did we last leave off here? Let me check. Hold on. It was Harley and then did we listen to that Aunt Brenda one? Okay. Yes. All right. So we listen to that. So it would be five seven. Okay. So where we last left off is we listened to a call with Aunt Brenda on November twenty first. So now, no, thank you, Debbie. Now we're on to Amy. Okay, so let me pull this. Okay, all right, so this is going to be with Letitia's friend, Amy, on November 21st. Her friend. Thank you for using Global Tello. Okay. Hi, Queen Bella. All right, let's do it. Telling. Hey, what's, what's up? Your work. Huh? Your work. No, it's Saturday. Oh, yeah, duh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm teaching the kids on Saturday. <laughs> I don't even know what day it is. I'm sorry. Yes, we got to get you a calendar in there. <laughs> Keep track of the day. I'm telling you, some days it's one year, some days it's another month, some days I don't even know. <laughs> okay. Now, I know it's been a few days since we last did um, one of these episodes. But she went from having numerous calls with Harley. If you guys remember, I was getting so bored because it was just call after call after call with Harley and she wasn't doing her craziness. But I need to point that out to you because even though it's been a few days, these are back to back calls. So she goes from being completely logical for days, coherent, not one mention of memory loss. She even acknowledges she's in prison. And now when she speaks to Amy, she's like, there are some days I don't know what year it is. There are some days I don't know what month it is. So already she's pushing that. I don't know, Hazel Eyes. I don't know. I'm telling you, some days it's one year, some days it's another month, some days I don't even know. <laughs> it's almost been a year, I feel. Yeah. No, like I never even know, like they what I don't even never know. So I just be like, one minute. It's just bullshit though, like because you're supposed to have a speedy trial, but your trial literally hasn't even started, and it's. You want to know what's 
not, listen, everyone's entitled to a speedy trial and they have to do it in a certain amount of time. Hi, Margaret. They have to do it in a certain amount of time. But you know what's bullshit? Uh, that she murdered Gannon. Yeah. Or how about the victim's families? Gannon's family has to wait for justice at this point. Yes, Scara. I I don't even I don't see it on my side, so you guys definitely have to remind me in the future, just like you did now, Scara. If you guys want those live reactions off, I'll try to remember moving forward just to keep them off. But let me go in right now and do it. Hold on. People are like, I'm just trying to heart you. Sorry, it's distracting for people. Okay, there we go. It should be off. And, um, hi, Necessity Mom. For the poor Gannon's family who has to wait for you to be held accountable. Yeah, I'm sure it's worse for them, honestly. I have 10 households. Like, because you're supposed to have a speedy trial, but your trial literally hasn't even started, and it's almost been a year. That's yeah. not speedy. No, they're doing that to a lot of people. Um, this one dude, he's been in here Hi, a long time because he had a couple of um, mistrials during COVID. And so he already had three mistrials during COVID because of, like, attorneys getting sick and, like, stuff like that. So, uh, if you have a mistrial, I thought then you don't go back to a trial again. I no, thought that was it. No, oh. that's not how it works here in the state. Some states it does after so many you don't you don't, but not here. That's how it works in Law and Order SVU. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <On TV. laughs> yeah. yeah. No, they don't they don't do that here, but he's already had three mistrials, so he's just like, Well darn, I'm never like I'm am I ever gonna go to court? It's but then they rescheduled him for I think he said like January 10th or something like that. And he was like, I'm still, they're never going to, it's never going to happen again. And I was like, that sucks. So, yeah. Well, but he's like, thank you, Riddler. You haven't even done your evidence here. I know. I know. Is yeah. it even scheduled? Like, when's it scheduled no, for? There's no schedule. The they're not doing, they're not taking anybody to court. They are doing, because I was supposed to go to court last week. They're just doing, um, video court for people and they're lining people up and going in and doing video court um but they're not doing it for most people just some people like some districts aren't doing it and some are and is it because of the coronavirus yeah because of the 911 inmates had it right Holy there yeah. did you 911 inmates but i thought she was at vampire training camp oh okay so just little slips, hey Kara, little slips that she is fully aware of where she is and the situation that she's in. She's fully aware she's awaiting trial, yet we are listening to all these calls in chronological order. You guys hear how at so many times prior, she claimed she had no idea what she was doing there. Hey Wolfie. Yeah, caught your dumb ass, Tisha. You did it? No, I didn't get it because I'm I'm segregated. But like, uh, what happened was, and I called it too, and they got pissed. People were talking shit to me, but so they okay, so they started coming in here with these brown trays, right? Not the and brown trays. I refused trays. to eat off of them because I was like, you can't sterilize plastic. Why does she, you can't sterilize plastic? Um. To be fair, I don't know. I don't know if you can, so I can't. Ah, woo. Yeah, she's like, these are hood trays. <laughs> trays from the hood? <laughs> yeah, Alexis. Um, I, I was going to say, I'm like, I thought you could sterilize certain plastic. But I, I didn't want to say anything because then I'd look silly if I was wrong. Yeah, you can't sterilize Letitia. That's for hell. 
That's for hell. A tray in the hood? I, I ain't eating up of brown trays. Then don't eat. They don't care, Tisha. I don't know. I don't know. It didn't sound right to me. That's why I paused and I was silent there for a minute because I'm thinking of all the sanitation processes. And I'm like, I, I think you can sterilize plastic, but okay. Hi, Mindy. So I'm like, no, they ain't no way in heck I'm eating off this stuff. Yes. And they should have been doing throwaway ones. Yeah, so we were on throwaway ones, but then they also suddenly brought out these contrails again. Well, then people started complaining. And they were like, man, this something tastes like bacteria. And they're like, how do you know what the bacteria tastes like? <laughs> I was about to ask the same thing. Damn shit, yo. <laughs> This tray tastes like bacteria. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've never... I've heard people say things taste like shit. Things taste like ass. <laughs> this tastes horrible. I don't think I've ever heard someone specifically say, Damn, yo, this tastes like bacteria. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> That's so specific. Damn, yo, this shit tastes like strep throat. <laughs> Fuck. Is this influenza? Is this fucking bacteria growth all up on this tray? Shit. Oh my God. And they were like, man, this something tastes like bacteria. And they're like, how do you know what the bacteria tastes like? People are like, well, I assume it just don't taste right. You know what I mean? Like something ain't right about it. And they kept yeah. doing all that, kept doing that. Bacteria. Something just ain't right about it. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. But oh my God. How do you know what bacteria tastes like? Because something just ain't right about it. Okay. Okay, Tisha. If, if that ain't Tisha logic... I am not sure what is. It tastes like 19 and shingles. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's really funny. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh my thing is looping. Hold on. Dear Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes like athlete's foot. Stop it, you guys are cracking me up. Hi, Rhonda. <laughs> oh my gosh. Tastes right. You know what I mean? Like something ain't right about it. And they kept yeah. doing all that, kept doing that. I still wouldn't eat. And then, of course, you know, when I don't eat, I go crazy. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah. so I, w I wouldn't eat or whatever. And then next thing you know, this girl, she gets blood on her cheese. And uh, what? somebody had cut themselves. Wait. She can't. Wait. I think the closed captions is wrong. I don't know. <laughs> Someone gets blood on their cheese? What? I think she said blood. I think she said blood. And Tisha, if anyone's ever seen Twilight, okay? I'm imagining Tisha like Jasper right now because he's a fresh vampire and Bella when she gets like a little paper cut and she's like, ooh, and then Jasper's eyes go crazy wide. And did you, did you attack that cheese, Tisha? Are you about to tell us you saw blood on the cheese and you went ham? Okay, because that's what I'm anticipating right now. Someone got blood on the cheese. How the fuck that happened? This girl, she gets blood on her cheese. And uh, for somebody to cut themselves. Then like a, a day later, the whole kitchen staff was fired. Like all the people. And mm -hmm. then they went back to Trace. And then they did two tests on people. And they both were positive. And then they did. Because, you know, now they're saying you can get it from like surfaces, right? <laughs> so yep. She said tastes like high blood pressure. 
Jesus Christ. See, I missed you guys. I missed you guys, man. I needed this. That's funny as hell. Blood. Blood on her cheese, okay? And the next thing she knows, the whole fucking staff's fired. Totally logical. Blood on Mitzadal? Absolutely not. You're fired. You're fired, okay? But Tisha, I thought your diet consisted of blood. I thought it consisted of blood. It make it make sense. I thought you were at vampire training camp. You told us they were giving you blood packets instead of ketchup packets to literally use to garnish your fucking food. But now blood on the cheese is a bad thing? Okay. Then they did. Because, you know, now they're saying you can get it from, like, surfaces, right? So that's yep. what happened. You had to get it from the surface from this people trays and everybody was eating off of them and then they came in here they called the national guard in and they came in and it was 911 people the, the national guard the national guard wait do you, is that legit guys i don't know i don't want to jump to conclusions here but does the national guard come in for COVID, in, like, I, I, okay, um, I don't, that doesn't sound right, the National Guard to jail, because somebody got corona bacteria on the, on the kitchen counter, they did, okay, see, thank you, that's what I wanted to ask, because I don't know, it didn't sound right, but okay, what did they do? <laughs> what did they do though? How did they fight against the bacteria? That's extreme, man. Well, that's the thing. Like, even when she's telling the truth about something, you, you don't know because everything sounds so silly. garden they came in and it was 911 people did anybody die from it no um but fortunately i guess uh everybody had good good lungs in here which is shocking compared to some of these people that be smoking as mess and stuff in here but um i got really really sick but i didn't test positive for covid then they gave i didn't and then they gave me flu and they gave me strep and I didn't have none of those. So they were saying, well, during it's either a really bad sinus infection or you got pneumonia. Because, I mean, I was bad. I was real bad. But I wasn't corona symptoms. Mine was mostly like sinus symptoms, you know. And um, You feel better now? Yeah, you can still hear my voice a little bit, the draining. But, yeah, yeah they had, um, the people were bad here. Like, um, some people had, but, like, a lot of people didn't have any symptoms. Most people were asymptomatic. That's why... They were coming around taking people's temperatures, and I was sitting there like, it ain't going to do any good if everybody's asymptomatic. And then sure enough, all the tests came back that way. I was like, dang. Because, like, yeah. you know, you're in here, and they won't let us have any masks. So you're walking around your pods with no mask on, and most of these people go out with people, you know what I mean? Wait, why can't you guys have masks? They, they asked the lady, a spokesperson lady for El Paso that, and I read it in the paper, and she was like, uh, we have to be concerned about safety issues with masks because people could hurt each other with them. Yeah, don't act like fucking animals. How about that? You know, like, um, maybe they had a lot of stuff. Yeah. I, that's, uh, Debbie Doodles, that's because she just said she had pneumonia to, I think it was Harley or Aunt Brenda, and then now she's admitting to Amy, I don't know, they think I might have had, she, she didn't have pneumonia, she's self-diagnosing. Your strep came back negative. Your flu came back negative. Your COVID came back negative. Suck it up. This is from November 2020, stars. Hi, Starlight Angel. She has sinus pneumonia. Exactly. But you can't kill yourself like with a little mask that is uh, the ones that are like. Excuse me, Miss Ma'am. Miss Ma'am. I don't need you to tell 
jail, what their protocol has to be, because it's not about can one little inmate have a mask. You would be shocked. We saw Cheetos being funneled through a toilet, Miss Ma'am. I don't need you. And it was hanging on by eight spoons, okay? I don't need you to under eight, underestimate the ability of a COVID mask. They are very, very 50 people, okay? It was just a cutthroat. It was a cutthroat. She was saying like staples and you know crap like that, but they were not staples compared to somebody's respiratory, their lungs, you know, whatever. I used to ask them all the time when I'd go to court, I'd be like, why can we don't get a mask? Why can't we? Cause remember I used to go to court and there would be no mask. I would think that when you're out with people, you'd have to have some. Yeah. I mean, you're, if you're in by yourself, that's fine. We take was, ours off in school when we're far away. It was in the news, so, like, the girls pod, they recorded the video visit, and they get sent it to the news where the girls were walking around in groups without masks on. Because the, the person's family member was pissed, like, why don't y'all got masks in there? Y'all walking around mm -hmm. in groups. Good. Well done. Well done. Yeah, maybe. What else is new? Oh, I was just listening to the crazy. I got this crazy lady in my mm -hmm. den been yelling about methamphetamine. Where is it at? Where is it at? She there's that there's the vent lady under me. <laughs> is the lady that lived in the vent okay? She said is the lady that lived in the vent okay. Do you guys remember? <laughs> And now she happened to just be talking about it. The lady who's screaming about meth in the vents. Okay. Starlight Angel, thank you so much. It's so kind of you. Starlight Angel just uh, gifted five memberships. Please thank Starlight Angel in the chat if you received them. Um, we have our members only Monday, tomorrow. So congratulations. Thank you so much. It's very kind. Um, <laughs> thank you, Marie. Hey, Bryn. Um, yeah, the tiny, the teeny tiny figure lady. That's just so funny that she also just started to mention it. So she said that there was a lady in her vent naked, a naked lady in her vent, um, screaming for meth. <laughs> Richard. Who ate in my dent? Been yelling about meth and fetamine. Where is it at? Where is it at? Who ate in my dent? Been yelling about meth. Oh, I was just listening to the crazy. I got this crazy lady in my dent. Been yelling about meth and fetamine. Where is it at? Where is it? At? There's this crazy lady. There's this crazy lady in my vent screaming about meth and fetamine. Where's it at? Where's it at? <laughs> the, the vent is so tiny, guys. So I imagine like this little naked woman, you know, like, like Indian in the cupboard style naked woman. <laughs> and her voice would be so quiet and faint because of her size. <laughs> Where's it at? Where's it at? <laughs> and then when you put your eye in the vent, <laughs> It's this aggressive, naked little lady <laughs> screaming about her mess. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, ATS News. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, Indian in the Cupboard, by the way, that was a great movie, okay? It was a great movie. Listening to the crazy, I got this crazy lady in my den been yelling about methamphetamine. Where is it at? Where is it at? She's dying for some mess. Have you talked to Harley recently? Yeah, I talked to her earlier today. She was at work. And, um, oh, that's good because she said her hours got cut back. Yeah. So we she was having a hard time good. with money. She borrowed some, I think. Well, that's good. She from Katrina that or lesson. something. That's, huh? part of the, that's part of the thing is she needs to learn the lesson. That's the lesson she's learning from this. And it's good for yeah. her because she needs to learn that lesson of uh, understanding that she shouldn't have been listening to people and, and 
pyramid schemes. She is a little because it was more than one. I wonder if she's still doing it. Is she no, still no, doing no, this no. stuff? No. It was more than one, whatever it was. And she was deemed illiterate at intake, Richard. But yeah, she says things very uniquely. Yeah, she totally changed the subject. She's like, I'm not even acknowledging the lady in the vent. I'm not. I'm not. That they had her doing was like a couple of different things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you could have her doing a bunch of random shit. It wasn't that like she... What the fuck's wrong with you? It wasn't that she like blew all the money. She did what she was supposed to do with it, but then there was like, I'd say fifteen hundred fifty thousand dollars of it that was just Melissa's crap. You know what I mean? Yes, Alexis. When that fifteen yeah. to two thousand dollars would have got you through the rest of the year. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so that's where she's about to learn. She's learning that lesson on that. But I've already talked to Amber, and she knows she's taking the money for the car. And she's giving her the car back, and she's going to take the money from me. But she's going to make. I told her to make her wait a little bit longer, and she said. Yeah, for sure. She doesn't need a car right now unless she gets another job. <laughs> then she probably right. does control the drive. Hi, yeah, Alex. She has to not have a car. She's got to go get grocery. I mean, she's got to take dogs to the vet. She's got to. The like, other two can take. She can use the other people's car, no? No, because then that's the whole thing we said. Remember, the whole thing is you're not supposed to be letting people drive around your car and somebody else's insurance. So she shouldn't be driving around their yeah. car and such. So it's got to yeah, be both ways. True, yeah. yeah. I just told her from the beginning, like, if you don't need a brand new car, you could have just thought, whatever. Yeah. No. <laughs> something. I'm fine with that. I mean, because anybody's going to let me give her $15,000 for it, and then she's just going to let me worry about paying her the, yeah. 10, the 10 later. But, uh, or even not even worry about that, whenever. We'll but, like I told her, I said, you know, I want it on our insurance, not on yours. So, um, she's going to keep it for a few more weeks. So, and it's I don't on Brenda's insurance? Huh? It'll so the car will stay on Brenda's insurance. No, 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 no. It'll it, um Harley's gonna have instructions on what to do about putting it on ours. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, it's like cheaper with Brenda because she's older, but well, it'll be cheap on mine too. It's just Harley can't be by can't be by Harley's self. Yeah, because mine mm-hmm. I don't have anything like no record of driving stuff and all that. Like so, mine would be the same price as and Brenda's might be like twenty thirty dollars cheaper. You know what I mean? Hmm. Maybe I have to go through her record again because I'm pretty sure there was absolutely something with like driving a vehicle without a license. But I don't know if that affects insurance or not. Hi, Chio girl. I know, but she would have thought it was just a lie. I don't think she, that's the thing, Angela, is that there is a serious disconnect with Letitia and I've, I've questioned that myself many, many times. Like how doesn't she register that everybody is aware that she's lying where somebody would normally, all right, you caught me. Tisha doubles down, triples down, quadruples down, just keeps that. She never stops lying. And it is so beyond obvious and everyone is aware yet how, how, like, I would be mortified and embarrassed to just open, like, at that point, you're just lying to yourself. But I don't know if she feels anything because I don't know if she's even registering situational awareness, self awareness. I don't, I don't know. It adds on the point on the driving record, then, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, but she's not dissociating, Mia. That's a thing. Um, hi, Tia, girl mom. She's not dissociating. Um, she is very, she's just fake dissociating. What she has is, in my opinion, I'm not, I can't diagnose, but it's personality. It's, it's a personality disorder. But how she's not aware of like she's one of these people who I'm pregnant. No, you're not pregnant. Yes. No, I'm pregnant. Okay. Pee on this test. It's negative. No, no. I'm still pregnant. That test is broken. Okay. Go into the doctors. We're drawing blood. Your blood test is negative. No, but well, that's because I didn't build up enough HCG hormones. Okay. Do a sonogram. Uh, 
you know, there's nothing in your uterus. No, no, there's something wrong with that. Side. Like she won't stop. But And so like everybody, the doctor's aware you're not pregnant, but Letitia will not stop lying. And so that's why I've always questioned, does she know she's like not fooling people or is she really fooling people? Like, does she think she is? I don't know. Hello, Hood Mary Poppins. Yeah, one of the, but I'm saying under Harley, an 18 year old. Yeah, no, she wouldn't. We would never do that. No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, God, yeah. you couldn't afford that. That'd be four hundred dollars a month. You know what I mean, just for insurance. I know because I was. Yeah. Um, I'm putting I had um, on 18 like that. And I remember. I'm moving Harley onto my phone plan so she doesn't have to pay 120 dollars a month for her phone. That's stupid. So I can yeah, add it in mine for 50 bucks much. a month. How much? And she, it's not even unlimited for her. What? No, she said it's her bill. She sent it to me. Her bill was 114. Wasn't even unlimited. So I'm adding her to my plan. And with my teacher discount and with, like, the new phone and everything, it's $50 a month. I was like, you're better off paying 50 than paying. And I told her, I was like, you don't have to pay me each month, you know, until you get another job. If you can save up some money, I'm like, don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. I don't but it's much, And it's unlimited. unlimited. No, she said it's not. That's crazy. But she's going to have to get a new phone number, though, so we'll have to make sure we tell you that, though, because um, they told her she should trade in her phone and then get a new phone number on mine. But I'm like, we're both AT&T. Why can't she just keep her phone? She called and talked to them. I should probably call and talk to them myself. You can keep the phone, but the problem, you can keep the phone and just get a new SIM card. She doesn't need a new SIM card because it's still AT&T. No, you have to get a new SIM card, though. You just, what you have to do is tell them you want to add a line and you just want the, you want the SIM card because then you'll put the SIM card in her phone and it will work automatically. That's all you have okay. Because when I yeah. had both, I had both iPhones for a long time because I'd use one for like gambling, stuff like that. That's all I did is I switched SIM cards out. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> We're not just going to scurry on right past that. You you had an entire phone for gambling? What? <laughs> I see Tisha with like a big cigar. <laughs> hi, hi, Rolla. Hi, Rolla. <laughs> for gambling? You had multiple phones. This is my gambling phone. Why wasn't gambling worthy on your normal phone? Like, what kind of gambling are you doing? Yeah, she never says thank you. That's what I'm saying. Like, she had a really good support system. She had people who were really stepping up for her child. These people offered to have Harley move in with them. They're paying the bills. But she doesn't act appreciative at all. The vet lady was her bucky. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, my God. That's just weird. Okay, so no. that's all you got to do, but she'll have to pay the remaining months of her contract out, though. She did. She said she doesn't have a con That's what I told her. I said, let me know when yours ends, and we'll try to do it that day. Like, as long as we can do it after school, I can go, and you can go, and we can be there. Because I yeah. told her she can do it herself, but they're going to call me to verify that I'm allowing her. And I told her I'll give her my password and all that, and they can yeah. call me to verify yeah. But it's, gonna, it's just stupid. I mean, I could save her $70 coming on my account. Well, then I told her, I said, she's going to, I talked to her about all those options, you know, um, so she's going to take through the break and like try to relax or whatever. And then look, I told her to look into NC Ready Schools. Um, I told her to look into uh, Charleston Southern School. I told her like to take and write everything down pros, cons, what she likes, what she doesn't like, and then some of the things you don't like could be things that we could fix, you know what I mean? Everything's not going to be gravy, you know what I mean? So I told yeah. her, I said, do all that, I says, and then um, um, she looked at the lively because um, I said, if you do that, you could do it with Naya, I says, and because they have like, um, they have it's a better environment. It's still going to be about the same price, but it's a better environment. You see what I'm saying? But if she's got, she'll take some of that money and could pay some of it up for, hmm. you know, a little bit, then she'll use her money just to have to cover grocery, you know, and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
So I said, that's why I took her up. I was like, I'll put you on my phone. And then you just worry about like paying for the dogs. Well, my mom actually said she would pay for the dogs. My mom said that if Harley tells her like the vet info and stuff, like she will send a chewy box to Harley every month for the dog. Yeah. But Harley has I was just thinking that Katrina. I'm like, wow, see, she seems like she gives really good advice, right? To her child when she wants to sit down, make a pros and cons list. And when you look at the cons, they might be things that we might be able to fix. Like, so don't just jump and bam, that's a con. Wow. Seems like pretty actually good advice. But did you follow any of this advice? Did you sit down and logically write out a pros and cons list when it came to murdering your stepson? Hey, T. Adams. Hi, Stephanie. Did you? Did you? Did you sit down and think, ooh, let me make a pros and cons list before I go and commit this heinous murder and take this baby's life? has not given me any of the info. Um, and my mom said she'll pay for their flea and tick and stuff. My mom's like, I'll pay for the dogs, and then Holly can just use her paycheck for groceries and whatever she needs done. Yeah, yeah. But she only makes like four hundred dollars a month. I know, so. I know, I know. And, and the thing but is, Harley like, didn't she, tell my mom the information yet. I don't know why she didn't get my mom all the info. Have, because she is nervous about, you know what I mean, like asking for help because she's never had to. You know what I mean? Thank you, T. Adams, for the super sticker. It's very kind of you. Thank you so much. It's very much appreciated. And it's lovely seeing you. So thank you. She's talking to Amy, her friend. But Amy offered literally for Harley. This is what I'm saying. Multiple people offered to, to take Harley. And like she, she's very blessed to have the support system because it did not have to go that way. Um, and that she has everyone kind of stepping in and helping out a little bit to take care of her child. So you kind of have my to mom that. offered it to her. She didn't even ask my mom. My mom was just like, see if Harley will let me help with the dog. She's like, I'll do flea tick, vet visits. She's like, and I'll do, um, you know, I'll send a chewy box and some toys and treats and then whatever food they eat. She's like, find out what kind of food they eat. And I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. I'll, I'll talk to her about it. Yeah, she. I mean, she, I gave her a lot on the list, so she's supposed to be going little by little, checking it off. The main thing she was supposed to be looking at is, you know, finding a more suitable place to stay that was more, you know, yeah, better for her, you know. And I told her, I said, don't just. I said, you, you have one minute, minute remaining. Uh oh. I said, you need to figure out if you really want to go to coastal. She was like, never I really does. Don't know. That's why I haven't really done the all the stuff and I was like that's why you need to sit down and look yep. at all the different ones and see if that's really where you want to go or not because it might be God's way of telling you that's you're not going to like it you know what I mean or maybe you don't want to do it yep. so that's why maybe I she needs her, a change like go somewhere else you know yeah so that's why I told her I said over the next couple of days to be writing all this down mm -hmm. go look check pros cons I said I'll check back with you after the holidays about it and then we'll go from there deciding well, you know, what you want to do, whatever. Because you got, you know, she's got the money for November and then April is going to pay for December. So that'll get, you know what I'm saying, until she can get figured she's out what she's going to do. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Anyway, so she was freaking out about money a little bit. So. But yeah, she needed she to. So that way she did, the next time people try to scheme her into something, she'll sit back and be like, wait a minute now. You know what I'm saying? She's got some lessons she yeah. had to learn. You know? Yep. But anyway. All, all right, right. We'll, we'll talk to her. Like Thank you for using global. <laughs> I love when it cuts them off, but you'll never hear it cut off her and Harley. You'll never hear it cut off her and Harley because she always hangs up before it becomes like the end of it. Well, Letitia tries so hard to hold on to the little shred of power and control she thinks she has left over Harley. Meanwhile, you know, Harley is rolling her eyes so hard in the background. Girl, bye. Yes. It, she always had control over Harley at the end of the day, you know, she semi had control over many people, but Harley was the one she had complete uh, control over that went out the window once she was arrested and she's struggling as she's slowly losing that. And it's only going to become more and more intense as we get through these calls.
We were strong and alone. Ciao. On Moonlight Bay. So the next call. is with thyroid please harley two days after this call november 23rd 240. tell link hello hey it was free right yeah. Okay. What you doing? Nothing. Just been chilling. Chilling. Yeah. You okay? Yeah. You know what was sad? I read. What? So like um, on an Alaska airline plane went to land, and get there was two bears on the runway. And then the pilot put the plane down over the bears to keep from hitting them. But the mama bear stood up and a wing clipped it. And <gasps> it left the baby bear on the runway. I know I was so sad. This is depressing as fuck. I don't want to hear that. Hey, daughter of mine, blood of my blood, spawn of a killer. You want to hear something really? This is the most depressing. I I ne if this how if this is how somebody called me, I would have hung up already. I would have hung up already. That is so depressing. I'm crying. I know it was sad. I was like, oh dang, because like you know the public's thinking, okay, he missed them, like they're in the clear. And then, boom, but we can get the, hit the mama. It was in a last mm -hmm. on that runway. And yeah, I was like, oh man, like they almost made it, but it was sad. Because I remember when we saw that bear in Canada and it stood up, it was bigger than the truck. Mm -hmm. So that's probably what it did was like, you know, it's crawling or walking and then stood up. And then that's how the wing hit it. Yeah. The wing, wing didn't hit the baby. So the baby's probably just sitting in there like, what in the world? And I don't mean this, you know, like to ever come, like it does not compare. But you feeling sympathy even for a, a baby bear. Yeah, what about Gannon? What you can't possibly have a heart after doing what you've done, but you're feeling sympathy for this baby bear, yet felt nothing for your baby stepson. Well, she eventually did Jones in, you know, she eventually cut it off, but we're going back and we're kind of listening to that fallout happen. But that was a very depressing way to start that call. And you know what I thought about? You put Chance as your um your favorite dog. You just forgot about Pike. Yeah. I know. I know, but it's okay though. He understands. You Pike? Huh? Oh, you used to be Pike. <laughs> Uh, there's this book I'm reading. Hi, Elena. And the dog named Sadie and the dog died. Um, yes. It had a tumor on its like. Oh, what in the fuck is this? What in the fuck are we talking about here today, Tisha? Why are you going through a variety of animals dying? This is. I don't want to hear this. This is. Yeah, she is the queen of gas gaslighting, Callie, but for real. This is, let, hold on now, let me move on from the bear and let me focus on this dog that died from a tumor. Why? 
respiratory system, and the dog died, and the little girl was so sad. And I was just like crying and crying and crying, and I was like, oh, my sweetie baby's okay. And I was like, yeah, she's fine. She was laying on my carpet earlier. I'm not going with me. She's so cute. Yeah, I laid on the floor with her. She misses me. She's going to forget me. Yes, sweetheart. She is going to forget you because you're going to sit and rot. You're already rotten to your core. But yeah, because you're never getting out. So that dog is going to forget you, and it's for its own benefit. No, she's not going to forget you. What's Chance doing? Chance is downstairs. He's just sitting in here. He just sits to you and gives you this look. Holy crap. Thank God. Uh, uh, Tisha. Let Amy get Harley a new phone because this underwater crap where we can't hear a damn thing she's saying, it's best to get a new phone versus just a new SIM card because I don't know how you could decipher what she's even saying. She's probably looking for food right now. Probably. Oh, man. Oh, I just wanted to call you. How are you? Uh, not good. Not good? Yeah, my brain's been hurting a lot. Your brain? Yeah, just a lot of crazy stuff. Just You manipulative, manipulative, deceitful woman. Well, not woman, animal, not animal. Just you. My brain, I'm not doing good. I'm not doing good at all. Why? What's wrong, Mom? My brain. <laughs> My brain. Yeah, no. I'm just going so crazy. Yeah. Tisha. Yep, now back to the poor poor did I did I open up well with the baby bear on the runway? Oh the mama getting clipped. Oh the dog with the tumor. My brain. Mama's going crazy. Poor mama. <sighs> She doesn't, yeah, she doesn't have a brain. She's, you know what? You've been licking too much bacteria, Miss Ma'am. That's what's going on here. Not good. Yeah, my brain's been hurting a lot. Your brain? Yeah, just a lot of crazy stuff just because I'm always, like, by myself, you know? You have one minute remaining. And then plus I'm not really eating again or sleeping again, so it makes it worse. Plus you're not really what? Sleeping or eating. Mm -hmm. and like I'm already like, oh, I wear a size small pant now. I used to wear large. Mm -hmm. Now I wear small. It's crazy. We already don't eat a lot anyway because they don't feed a lot and you can't order any food. No, you can't order DoorDash. <laughs> yeah, no, they feed you enough to survive. Actually, they get very precise uh, in jail. And pre like they, they, as far as the meals that they give you, it's exactly what your body needs to like survive. It's not supposed to be enjoyable. Um, but no, Miss Ma'am, you can't order pizza or DoorDash. That's not the way it works. Where I'm at. Yeah. Yeah. Mmm. But it's gonna hang up, I love you, sweetie. 
Okay, love you too. I'll call you tomorrow, okay? Mm-hmm. Me too. Okay. Okay. You sure you're okay? Yeah. Okay, bye-bye. Tell Chance to say yellow them too. Bye-bye. Bye. Awkward. So again, Harley's calls are usually the quickest calls because they have nothing to talk about. Then, yes, Tracy L, like the exact amount, right. We have a call with unknown. Bum, bum, bum. A call with unknown. Is this going to be that person's mom again? Remember? Let's see. What up, hey? Um, hey, may I speak to Darnell? This is Darnell. Um, hey, uh, I'm calling for your niece, Tay. Uh, she said to tell you that she's uh, falling down the stairs because she can't see. She needs to buy some reading glasses. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> No, uh, no. <laughs> Come again. What what you just say? What kind of code is this? What kind of Hey, can I speak to Darnell? This is Darnell. <laughs> I'm calling for I don't remember what her name is. Tracy. <laughs> she said she's falling down the stairs. And she needs reading glasses. <laughs> Welcome, Alex. Thank you for becoming a member. We're very happy to have you part of the channel. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining. Yo, first of all, reading glasses ain't going to help you falling down the stairs because it's for reading. <laughs> yeah. Even if she had poor eyesight, <laughs> reading glasses are literally for reading, not for going down flights of stairs. But these inmates, <laughs> these inmates will have each other do favors for one another so it's not recorded for their case. <laughs> Tisha clearly owed a favor, okay? So she, <laughs> so she's like, I got to call Darnell, but this is funny because this is code, okay? <laughs> this, is, this is code. Oh, man, I'm calling for your niece, Darnell. <sighs> hey, uh... She said to tell you that she's uh, falling down the stairs because she can't see. She needs to buy some reading glasses. Say it again. <laughs> I said she told me to call you to say she really needs some reading glasses. And okay. She, she said something about you guys are going to put money on her account. Yeah. I oh, okay. Yo, that motherfucker owes me money. <laughs> I was wondering where this was going to go. I guess reading glasses are on commissary. Yes, say it again. Say it again. Reading glasses are on a commissary that you could buy. So we really need you to send me some money because I'm falling down these metaphorical stairs at jail. Okay? <laughs> And the only thing they offer to align with my story is reading glasses on the commissary list. So please, I need money. Shit. I said she told me to call you to say she really needs some reading glasses. And okay. She said something about you guys are going to put money on her account. Yeah. I, I went to go do it um, Monday, but the place was closed. I'm going to try again when I um, leave the gym. And if it's still closed, let me see if I can go online and do it. Yeah, if you go to Access um, Corrections. Access site, Corrections? Yeah, and look for her name. Uh, you can oh, okay. Yep. Okay, yeah. yeah, I was going to something else. 
I'll worry. Yeah. Um, so, um, she said it's 30, like, they charge a $30 fee when you first do it. Um, uh -huh. but then she said the glasses are $8. Okay. So what you said, $8? Hold on. Okay, and she says she loves you. Okay. Okay. Tell her I'll, right. I'll, 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 I'll give it to her tonight. Okay, all right, cool. Thank you. She, 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 she take it out or what? Is she what? She take, she's not allowed out of her father or what? Oh, uh, you know, sometimes she is, sometimes she ain't. It depends on if she's acting right or not. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> what? Hey, Allie. What? But, okay, so who is she not allowed out? Darnell's trying to ask, why the fuck are you calling me? New phone, who dis? Why are you calling me? Is she not allowed out? And Tisha's like, well, you know. <laughs> sometimes she is, sometimes she isn't. It depends on if she's acting right. As opposed to who? You? As opposed to you, Miss Ma'am? But she's definitely calling for somebody else. Obviously, you hear her scream out, Yo, this is that it? Do you need to tell me anything else? Just that I love him. She loves you. Okay. okay. <laughs> sometimes she is. Sometimes she ain't. It depends on if she's acting right or not. <laughs> All right. You tell her to be good with that. She is. She is. That's, that's my little study partner. We studied the Bible together all the time. That's my little study partner. You're a creep. That's weird. You're weird, Tisha. She knows our Bible. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I'll go in there and be like, hey, can you tell me where this is at? And she's like, boom, boom. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, that's all all right. Good. No problem. All right. All right. Thank you. All right. Okay. Bye. 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 Awkward. Awkward, awkward, awkward. So. Let me see. Let me see. All right. Now we have a call with Harley. And she calls Harley as soon as she hangs up with Darnell. So let's get it. Hello. Hi. Hey. How's it going? Good. How are you? I'm a lot better. I had a professional visit this morning and we talked about some really good things so I'm a lot better today. That's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what are you doing? Really good. Nothing. Cold. Cold? I saw the weather was only like in the sixties. No, it was it? like it was like forty degrees today. Oh wow, forty. <laughs> you know it's snowing That's here cold. on the mountain. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not that I can feel it anyway, so I guess it really don't matter. Well, there and then, um, Chance and Sadie should like that kind of weather. I know. Because you know they like it like that. Especially Chance. Not Sadie. Well, Chance, he can breathe. Yeah. <laughs> I can't breathe. Why does she say it with a V? Yes, Melanie. Harley is, is her daughter. Why does she say it with a V? I don't know. He was trying to run out the door today. He better not. He was trying to. Why? I don't know. He tried to do like he did that day at Dee Dee's and get it and turn around and look at you. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that. That was funny, man. He knew what he was doing too, son. I he know. Back and was like, boom, I'm out of here. Sadie, Sadie tricked me today. I literally took her outside. And, you know, she was, like, running um, to her, like, spot where she always used the bathroom. And then, like, I was so proud of her. She came back in and was going towards the door. And then she looked at me, and then she bolted the other way, and I chased her out and get her. And I was like, oh, my gosh. That's why she needs to be on a leash. No, I'm trying to teach her off leash. No, because then she runs in front of a car. No, no, it's a secluded area in the back. All right, better take care of my baby till I can get to her, man. Spoiler alert, Miss Tisha. You ain't ever getting back to your your baby. 
Harley, <laughs> mm. Landon, Al, they never get to get their baby back. You're never getting out. And it's just so bizarre to me that she genuinely thought she would. She genuinely thought at this time, yeah, I'm getting out. So much to where she is getting mad at Aunt Brenda for buying a house in an area in a hood that she doesn't approve of. Because when she gets out, she's moving in. I had a dream that this, these are the crazy dreams I have. You know, I don't know what they all mean, but so I was in a van in handcuffs. And this deputy that was working was driving, but she was going by Grandpa's house in North Carolina, right? And mm -hmm. I was trying to tell her, I was like, hey, this this area floods bad, like, because I saw my grandpa's yard flooding. I was like, you know, could you, like, just... Okay, sorry. She has a dream. She's handcuffed in a van. Gannon was trapped in a suitcase, decomposing in the van. And then, talking about flooding... That suitcase was tossed off a bridge in hopes it would land in the water. I don't know. Like, I I tie that type of stuff in together. If it's not just all a bullshit lie. Slow down a little bit. It, like, floods through here real bad. And then, um, and she was like, ah, we're driving a van. We got it. Then we hit the water and started going under. And guess what I did? I rolled the window down. Because remember how Molly told you about it? I rolled the window down. So I'm having to get out, and I can't hardly swim, so I'm having to, like, float. Because I had the things on my hands. Oh, my gosh. I know, but then guess what was in the paper the very next morning? What? It was on the front page. Well, actually, it was on the bottom of the front page. It was a picture of the Riverwalk in Charleston, South Carolina. And it was flooded. <laughs> <gasps> you must be psychic. Oh, my goodness. It's so silly. Mm. Wow. And then wow. I was like, look, I said, this was like Charleston. And then I read it and it said, Charleston, South Carolina. I said, what in the heck is Charleston, South Carolina doing in the paper today? It was right there. That on the, is crazy. It was right there on the bridge where I got married at, like on that little bridge right there. And I was like, what is mm -hmm. that? Oh, yes. Please don't, don't forget, she got married under a bridge. The same place where she discarded Gannon's decomposing body. And then, guess what was, like, on page, like, 10? Huh? Wilmington, North Carolina. What? So, it was a girl in the car, and she was on her laptop, and it was, like, small town, Wilmington, North Carolina, rural area, cannot get internet, and all kids are online. Mm. And it had a little girl in the car catching the internet at the grocery store. <laughs> oh, wow. And I was like, okay, this is, I don't know what God's telling me here, but. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh my God, this one girl is still crazy, man. She said, "Here comes Tisha, analyzing everyone around her, saying everyone's because she doesn't realize she is amongst people who are similar to herself, but she holds herself with her nose in the air, pointed up." And she believes she is superior to everyone. She's even expressed how she needs to help all these other inmates spell and write out whatever court paperwork because, you know, they're just not educated enough. You were deemed illiterate, though, at intake, and your spelling is horrific. Said there were something in her food, but then she said there was donkey. I thought she said Donkey Kong, which said Donkey Kong in her sink. <laughs> Donkey Kong in her sink. Okay. <laughs> there are syringes in her food. And this other girl, she brought syringes in her food. Is it? Oh my God. In her food, and this other girl, she brought drugs. She already had drugs, but she got drugs in here from another person. So she what? didn't 
yeah, like, it's crazy. Like, I don't even know, like, how these people do this stuff. So, like, she had it on her in her bra, and she got caught with it. And then she was, like, telling me at the thing, she was like, I only had five cents. You know me, I'm a dummy. I'm like, what do you mean? What's wrong with having five cents? Like, I'm thinking, like, actually, five cents. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know if anything with drugs was sitting there, like, well, what's wrong with you having that? They're like, what do you mean? I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm like, I don't understand this stuff. Please, y'all don't, don't tell me this stuff in the den. Like, I don't know what this means. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I know. And then the one old lady up here, she's about 60 something. She's naked. She's always butt naked. The little lady in the vent. It's an older lady. Okay, so we have a little miniature 60-year-old naked lady in the vent screaming for meth. Oh, she just got sweeter. And then she'd be singing gospel bees butt naked. I can't even watch. It just got die last. Singing gospel butt naked. <laughs> Praise be, give me math. She said, I love you, Lord. I, I love you, Lord. Oh, snap. <laughs> then she'll get the demon in her about like 2.30 in the morning. And she'll be like, Boston yelling in the yesterday. She was yelling. Broke back mouth, broke back mouth, broke back mouth for like two hours. <laughs> Jailhouse sale. Can you wonder why I call you all sometime and be crazy? No. That's why. No, 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 Miss Ma'am, go back a minute there. Just because others are crazy around you doesn't mean you just be crazy. It, you know, I, I don't surround myself with people who may suffer from schizophrenia and then oh no uh, uh, oh no i'm becoming schizophrenic it doesn't work like that you you're you're you you don't just go crazy because people are acting a fool around you <laughs> i don't know don't ask yes it's she, yes princess gary it's a poly pocket size vent lady okay that is why, because I like, have all this stuff in my brain and can't process it because it's always like going something nonstop, <laughs> somebody crazy doing something crazy. Um, yeah. <clears throat> and then the other lady up here, she's got multiple personalities. So one minute she'll be like, hey, how are you doing? Next minute she'll be like, shut up, you stupid whore. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you, Tisha, except... They're not your personalities. They're just your fake alters, okay? One minute you're fine. One minute's what year is it? One minute you're in prison. One minute it's I'm here for my special powers. Sounds familiar. Shut up, you whore. <laughs> one minute she'll be like, hey, how are you doing? Next minute she'll be like, shut up, you stupid whore. <laughs> I just, I just sit back and be like, bang my head, like, boing, boing, boing. I haven't slept. This is the fifth day I haven't slept. So just so you know, I'm probably a little hyper right now, but I'm probably going to crash. That's a lie. This is the fifth day you haven't slept? Yeah, you just did calls all these five days leading up, and you haven't mentioned, oh, I'm, this is my second night in a row. I don't think people understand. If you go five straight days without sleep, you are going to your brain will melt, okay? Again, you know? <laughs> because then I got, okay, so then the dudes that moved above this now are like the dudes that get in trouble. So they mm -hmm. have been fighting for the last coming days, banging, screaming, hollering, heck no, we won't go, heck no, we won't go. And then they have what they call these chomos, right? So chomos are people who do bad things for the kids, like molest little kids and stuff, right? And mm -hmm. so they be hollering at them going, um, how is that they say? Uh, touching them guys, feeling them girls, turmo, turmo, and they do that the whole time. And they keep going, and they keep going, and they keep going, and then they scream, and then they yell, and they fight, and they scream, and then they yell. Then they're hollering, heck no, we won't go, Black Lives Matter. Heck no, we won't go, Black Lives Matter. I'm like, Oh my gosh. Because, like, they're right above me. And I just, mm -hmm. like. But 
you also call them on the toilet. <laughs> Send love letters through the toilet, and then you also give those exact crazy motherfuckers your child's number and have them contact her. Yeah, why even talk to Harley about this stuff? It's disturbing. God in heaven, take me away, please. Just take me away right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that thing online due yet? Yeah. Ruben said let her know so she could give you the money to pay it. Yep, Mel. I'll check and see. Yeah, if it is, just send her screenshots on his due, and then um, okay. I'll let her know so she can give you the money to pay it. And say, she, say Mom had already talked to you about it, and you said let her know. Okay. I'm ready to get some more books. Yeah, oh, she said. Selfish motherfucker. Every damn, every damn phone call. It's about Tisha and her books, Tisha and her books, Tisha and her books. You just got books and you're ready for more books. I think you're doing something with these books. I think you're trading these books. She sent them to you. She sent them to you. Because I'm having to read like, somebody brought me one book today. It's about something bad about the devil and I was like, oh Lord, I can't I can't be reading this right now. I was like, uh, yeah. So I just told the girl, I was like, oh yeah, it sounds like a pretty good book, but I didn't read it. <laughs> and I, I'm letting everybody borrow my Patterson books that I got. So they're See? all out mm -hmm. right now. I'm letting everybody borrow my Patterson books. Everything is valuable in jail. And so books that are being bought and brought in from the outside. Yeah, you could trade that for favors, other items, whatever. Do you remember the call where T yelled at Harley and said, don't call her mom again? Ooh, I don't know, but it was probably on Allie's or Bundy's. No. And they're all like, oh, can you get some more of these books? I'm like, well, I'm trying. My daughter quit ordering hardback. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so passive aggressive. So other inmates are asking you to get books and you're like, well, I'm trying, but my daughter's not, you know, she needs to stop ordering hardbacks. Listen, Harley did her best and she believes she didn't buy a hardback. Yet you're saying that they confiscated it. Okay. But I see through that passive aggressiveness. I'm sorry. When I talked to Katie today, the, the other Katie, she, I was like, you supposed to buy me a book. She's like, oh my God, I know. I was like, can you send it to me? <laughs> so when you were speaking with Katie today, you told her you should buy me a book. Can you send me it? Do you have a relationship with anybody where you're not trying to directly get something from them? <laughs> I found this other lady I like too. Her name is J.A. Jonas. She writes a lot of, mm -hmm. like, these are like older books because you know how to get these off the book cart. And, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, she's really pretty good too. Mm -hmm. Then I found this other author she writes about North Carolina a lot. So I'm like reading a bunch of her books and I'm like, oh my God, I know where this is in North Carolina and I know this and know this. Did cool. <gasps> I tell you that Sadie Robertson's pregnant? Uh uh. Is she? Yeah, yeah. Aww. I think she's having a girl. Oh, I can see her having a girl. Well, that girl's going to be spoiled school, because look at the other girl's daughter. Or might be her mm -hmm. But she was adopted or something. A little Asian girl. That's yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because she's like, whatever. Um, what was I going to ask you? I don't know. I don't know. I was going to ask you, but anyway. All right, well. Uh, oh, hey, has that lady wrote you back? Has this Veronica wrote you? I called her. Well, yeah. By the way, I'm not just calling to just check in with you or to let you know I want more books. Has that person texted back that I'm having you do shady shit for me as if I didn't put you through enough? Has that person contacted you back? It's insane that she put Harley in this situation. No. No, she hasn't. No. All right. Well, just um, send her a message and just say, hey, 
Um, my mom wants to know how always you're always feeling, and then um, I wish I'll write you back and tell them happy things. Mm -hmm. Do me a do me a favor, dear. Call Monica and tell her your mom just fell down the stairs. And she needs a pair of new reading glasses. So if you can put some money on mom's commissary, that would be greatly appreciated. Just say hey. Okay. Doing until have Thanksgiving. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. Love you. Love you too. Bye. <laughs> All right, guys. So I know Allie has a live in five minutes. So that just actually was perfect the way it just stopped. But we will pick up. We'll be on tomorrow for members only Monday. Um, and so our next, we're about to finish November, actually. We're about to finish November. So the next, there's four calls left. The next three are with Harley. And then the last one is unknown. Oh, I so very much look forward to the unknown. Um, if it was anything like this unknown one. But I'm going to drop Allie's link. Allie's about to go live. So let's go Jade Raid over. I'm also going to drop ATS News' link because she has an amazing channel. Um, I'm not sure when her next live is scheduled, but make sure you go show her some love as well. So thank you all so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. Thank you for anybody who had gifted a membership or sent a super uh, stack, not stacker. Oh my God. Super sticker. Your support is so very greatly appreciated. I hope you all had an amazing weekend. I'll see you over at Allie's and then I'll see you here tomorrow for our members only.